Hi friends, here's today's um, process video, art journal page process. I'm working in my little journal, which I filled one side of, and now I'm going to go back, this is the last one I did on this side, and I'm gonna go back and work through this side. Might as well, I've got the space there. So I'm gonna put that under there to make it a bit flatter. I'm going to do some collage, I think, today. Um, I might introduce some paint and some mark making, but generally it's going to be collage. So I'm going to gather all my bits. Okay, so I started without you. I've got this little bit of pad. I've been going through my, my box of smaller bits. I found this page here and I've trimmed that down. Um, instead of, I was going to draw a circle round, but instead I found this flower, bit of flower that I'd already cut out actually. It was already cut down to size. Uh, you know, cut, fussy cut around. And so I've used the flower around the face and I quite like that. So I've actually glued those two bits together. And I've also glued another bit of this paper underneath because I want the two sides to speak to each other. So really all I have to do is glue these down and I'm going to do a little bit of journaling or a quote or something going around the edge there. That's gonna be that simple. Sometimes you don't need to overcomplicate a page. I know I do, I'm guilty of that. I'm guilty of doing layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of com complexities and people are going, what the hell are you doing? I go, what the hell am I doing? But sometimes it's, you know, I love it though. I love, I love the complex layers actually. Uh, but sometimes I also love the simple layers. So um, there you go, all, all, styles, all styles suit me. So I think I'm gonna use, because this is fairly thick, I'm going to use the three-in-one glue. Um, I don't, you know, <sighs> glue stick holds to a certain point, but um, not always forever. So I'm going to just put some of this down. I shall speed up the gluing. So here comes some jaunty music. I'm just going to trim these bits off now. This is refusing to go straight. There we go. That's the excess. And now I'm going to find a quote or something to write around there. We're back in a moment with that. Oh, I love it so far though. So here we are. This is my very simple page. I mean, it's one, two, three, four bits of collage and the writing. The, the, what I like about this is the um, background. I use this, these old um, Amazon, they are, paper bags. And that, the color of it works as a background for me. I always like to include it if I can in this little journal. So that's less work to do, isn't there? And I do enjoy this journal because it is mostly collage. It's portable for that matter. You know, I could take it anywhere with me. It's great, I love it. It's one of my favorite journals, actually. That's on my little circle one. Oh, I love them all, actually. All six of my current journals, <laughs> I love them all. Uh, so yes, I felt a bit guilty thinking, well, that was too easy, but I don't mind. You know, I've had a busy week. I've got a lot to do at the moment. So having something simple to do fills that need to do an art journal page. So I do recommend, even if you've only got a little bit of time, you can do a bit of collage. And these are the cards I used. So if you want to join in, take a screenshot. Take a screenshot and join in. I'd love to see what you make with these prompts. If not, and you've got your own cards, draw your own cards and make a page. I mean, really, what I've done looks nothing like any of these. But they have given me ideas. As I, you know, they, I, what I do is I pull out the cards, then I go through my collage box to see what would work with that. And this is what worked. Love it. I love the fact that I've got a circle around, which is what I was doing from this. There, she's got the clock behind her. I've got a flower, which is not quite a circle, but nearly a circle around her. So I was echoing that. And I wanted a flower because she had a flower and I wanted the profile face because that had a profile face. And yeah, 
And I loved having the writing going around there like that. Um, I've used a face from a Stamperia pad. I've used some flowers from another, I think it was a six by six inch pad I had. And it got nice bold flowers that I could cut out. And I've used some scrap bits of paper from another pad. But that's all I've done because the brown of the paper that this book is made from works with it. You know, the blue and the brown is lovely together, isn't it? And I've done the writing around the edge saying the world of reality has its limits, but the world of imagination is boundless. And it's that simple and straightforward this week, which is great. Sometimes I like to spend a lot of time doing an art journal page, but sometimes time is short and I've got other things I have to be getting on with. And a quick and simple, easy page uh, satisfies that need to create something. Um, thank you very much for watching this video. If you are new here, please subscribe. I do two videos a week. One usually midweek is a tutorial on something that I know how to do or I found how to do. And at the weekend, I usually do it on an art journal page process. Sometimes it's more complicated than this, but quite often they're quite simple. Uh, so yes, please subscribe and um, please leave a comment down in the um, comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're taking part in the art journal pages as well, do please do ha put hashtag Carrie's Prompts wherever you post it so I can find it. Um, Tracy, the board crafter, quite often does something. She has the card set and so she draws her own cards and she then makes her own page. And it gives you an idea of how to do it not my way, how to do it somebody else's way, uh, which is very useful to see. So I'll link her down below in the uh, in the description box. So thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.